Okay, that was really bad. Hey guys, it's Super Awesomeified here. This video is gonna be a little different from everything else. <laughs> Hairball, okay. So this video is gonna be a little different from other things I usually post, but I'm kinda making, so my car, yeah, my car just ran out of storage, but I deleted some disgusting old videos of me trying to be a beauty guru, and now I've got enough space. So today's video is gonna be telling you guys about how to cheer. Well, not how to cheer. It's just telling you guys some basics, not only the basics, but like some stuff like that you can do to prepare for your tryout and all that kind of stuff. So let's get started. I'm just gonna skip all this boring stuff. Hello? Is this focused enough for you? I can never tell if it's focused or not. Whatever, who cares about focus? Like, not me. So, the basic motions of cheer. No, before I start that, actually, I'm gonna tell you. When I say little, wait, yeah, little donut is this side of your hand right here. Big donut is this side, this side with your thumb and stuff facing out. So, I'm gonna tell you the basic motions. Let's go. So high V, this is a high V, this is what it looks like. They should be out a little bit, like it shouldn't be like this, cause then you look like you're like, or like you look like you're like a, I don't even know, it just looks awkward to me. Or maybe it's just cause I'm used to, <coughs> used to seeing it kind of forward. But you put it kind of forward like this, and your arms should be at like, maybe a little like higher than 45 degree angles, like this. Put your big donuts on the outside. So that's a high V, and remember to always lock out your arms and don't do this. Don't wilt your wrists like this, and this applies to anything. Don't wilt your wrists, don't do that. Don't put it like this. Don't bend your arms at all, lock them. Like a board. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna learn is a T which is literally a T with your body. And this again is also a little out. Pretty much everything you do is pretty like straight, but just it should be slightly out. So this is a T, big donuts out, pretty self-explanatory. You kind of like just keep your arms really tight and make a T with your body. I don't know what else to say. Low V is pretty much a high V, but down here. And again, it's in front of you, lock out your arms, this is a low V. It's pretty much an upside down V. Um, touchdown. So when you get a touchdown, this is what you do with your palms. You be like, yeah, yeah, you got a touchdown. So you put your arms like this, really close to your ears, and don't do like the Statue of Liberty type looking thing. Put your little donuts facing the crowd. So you're like, hey guys, these are my little donuts. Check them out, bruh. So then you do that. It should be kind of like very ever so slightly in front of you. Just think of putting your arms to your ears. So that's a touchdown. The rest of them, the motions aren't that important, like L's and stuff. I'll, I'll just explain to you what an L is. It's literally an L. With your top arm, you're gonna do the, oh, I forgot to say this for your touchdown. Oh wait, no, I think I said it. Put little donuts out. Same for L's, you do that. Don't do this, put the top of your fist towards the ceiling. For this, you do the same thing you would in a T. So those are some basic motions. Now onto some cooler stuff. Now that you know the motions, Toe touches and jumps. Before you start doing toe touches, I'm gonna teach you something that's kind of more of a joke. So, how to do a jump. First of all, what you don't do is just start like that. See how you get like no air? But to do the simplest form of jump, the simplest form of jump is a T-jump and that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. So what you do for a T-jump, clap, Put your arms in a high V, which I just kind of went over. Bend, cross your arms in front of you, and do a T, but kind of jump with your legs straight, and then this is how you land, and go up. And it's gonna be two account, it's gonna be the clapping is one, two, the high V motion is three, four, the crossing, you wanna hit this crossing, don't just go into it or do it while you, cause that just doesn't work. You wanna hit one, two, very explicitly, this is one, two, three, four is up here. The cross is down on five, and make sure to bend your knees, lean forward a little, push down on the ground. Try to get enough power as you can before you jump up, because that's how you're gonna get momentum. So this is five. Your motion is six, whether it be a T, a tuck, a T, like anything. Sorry, those were all horrible. I'm really tired, so excuse how bad my jumps are gonna be. Oh crap, I don't even think this is focused. I don't think it's been focused this entire time, but whatever. So yeah, your motion, you're gonna hit on six. For seven, eight, you're gonna land down here. And then you stand back up on one. 
and you do a little hey, and you pretend you like your school and be like, yo, oh, school. Yeah. So that's how you do a jump. Now I'm gonna teach you the next easiest, in my personal opinion. I guess it depends on the individual, or maybe not, I don't know. Jump, it's a tough jump. It's pretty much the same. One, two, three, four, down five, up six, seven, eight. But if you notice, I'll do a side view too. Three, four, down. You hit a tough motion in the air with your legs. Point your toes, I don't even know if I point my toes, but you should. Point your toes, and then do a little trigger ball in the air. And then again, land on seven, eight, and go up. Now the fun part, toe touches. Before I just show you a jump, and you attempt it, I'm gonna show you some exercises to help your toe touch. So exercise. The first exercise we're gonna do is just a stretch. So start out like this and spread your legs out like that. Keep your back straight and then go as far down as you can with a flat pack. And actually I really suck at this, but if you don't suck, congrats. Then you can go down and stretch out and keep walking your arms out. Next one is to build up your core. So basically to do, to be good at toe touches, you need to have strong cores and hip flexors or whatever those things are you learn in health class. So you gotta have those. Do sit-ups, crunches, stuff like that. Also, another thing you can do that works all the muscles you need in order to do a toe touch is put one arm forward and one arm back, lift up your leg and rotate your hip out for 10, in for 10. And then when you're feeling really adventurous, put both arms in front, not back. Lean back and then rotate your legs out and then in, 10 each. That'll build your muscles. So, now that you've got the basics of jumping, you can learn a toe touch. And I know, oh, besides, there are other ways than the high knee thing if you approach jumps, but I just taught you that because it's the easiest for me. It, my personal opinion. Oh. <laughs> oh, why am I such a spaz? Okay, so I'm, whatever, I'm leaving that there. So you're gonna do your basic, normal, regular, everyday class. Oh, and I forgot to tell you this. The clap you do, it's not a clap like a genie. It's a clasp, so it's louder. So clasp, one, two, up, three, four, down, strap in the air with your legs, and a T in the air with your arms, and then land, and then up. What you don't wanna do is the froggy legs. I see a lot of people doing this. And I can't even do it, actually. That sounds like those conceited people who do like three backflips. They'll try to demonstrate and be like, I can't even do it wrong. I'm so good at it, so used to doing it right. I'm not saying that, I'm saying like, I've been, I don't know. It just kind of is hard for me to bend them though, because I overcompensate and always try to keep my legs straight all the time. But yeah, the froggy legs, like, it may seem natural at first, and it may seem kind of forced to put your legs like, to put your legs like straight, and I know you're gonna think the frogs will get you higher, and it might get you higher, kind of may get you higher, but it looks ugly. So don't be ugly. This is a lot less ugly than the, like, no, not, than the, that thing. What you want is nice, straight, pointed toes. And then to practice pointing your toes, I'm gonna give you some exercises again. So what you're gonna do, actually this is gonna be really hard to film. I'm just gonna explain it to you, but you won't be able to see it very well. Oh, I just burped. So, to point your toes, pointing your toes, what you're gonna do, go down in a pipe position. I didn't adjust the camera, but screw it. Do the flat back thing, and then push your toes down. And I know it kind of hurts, but you just kind of have to do it in order to learn to point your toes. Because this looks ugly in the air, and I know I do it. But yeah. I shouldn't be an example for how to look good when you cheer. I'm just, I'm just good at explaining how to look good. Huh. So yeah, jumps. Now, I'm gonna teach you a little about tumbling. I can't do anything more than a round off, so I'm just gonna show you. If you're new, you probably can't either, so that's okay. Forward roll demonstration. Forward roll, to do a forward roll, you're gonna start out like this, Go down to the ground, make sure to tuck your head because you kind of don't want to break your neck. Well, not break your neck, you don't want to hurt yourself. 
So tuck your head under, hit a squat like this, and you look at gorilla type, like primitive squat. That's not even, I don't even know what this thing is called. But do this, here. And then start with your head, and just kind of let your body roll. Make sure to keep your chin tucked. And then go like that, and do clean so it looks all, so it looks all cheesy and cheerleader-like. So that's a forward roll, basically. Make sure to, yeah, I guess keep your legs together. Um, next tumbling thing is a cartwheel. So this is what it looks like. Again, I'm horrible at tumbling. Like, there are girls on my squad that can do like beautiful back handsprings. And then I'm just here like, hey, check my cartwheel though. But that's okay, because tumbling is only a certain amount of points anyway. It's just kind of a helper more than it can hurt you. So yeah, start out like this. I'll show you on here. Put one, put, I remember memory. I mean, yeah. So put out your best foot, whatever foot you're gonna go on. Like whatever foot you're gonna start with, you put out, pointed. Put both arms up, kind of stick your butt out and do all the little gymnast flare. Then you're gonna wanna back up so you don't die. Then you just kind of go for it. Do, as you put both arms down, the leg that obviously isn't touching the ground should go up and circle you. The other should follow, and you're gonna to wanna to land like this. So that's how you do a cartwheel. And if you're having trouble and you can't get your legs up, I'm pretty sure there are other gymnast gymnast people that know how to do it better than me. So I'm, I'm just gonna give you links to cartwheel tutorials because I know I'm awful at this. So yeah, that's what a cartwheel looks like. Round off is this. Oh jeez, I've not done that in a long time. Okay, never mind. That's not what a round off should look like. It's a cartwheel with your legs together in the air, and that's how you land, and you land like this. And what else is there? A dance? Um, I'm not gonna teach you a dance. What I'm gonna do is tell you how to do a dance. If you mess up during the tryout, don't be one of those people that shows it. Just put on. Just put on that presence of looking like you don't care, or just make something up. Like I remember for my eighth grade trial, like I made something up like this. Yeah, and like it was really stupid, but like I didn't want to look like I messed up. I didn't want to look like I messed up, so that's what I did, and I still made it somehow. Go me. So you do that. Don't stand there. I mean, if you really are at a loss in the moment, I guess. You can ask to do it again, just don't rely on that because there are much easier ways to fake it and fake confidence and that way your confidence will become real. For a lot of people, the confidence of dancing especially is what keeps them from trying out. But really, it's not bad as long as you're assured or you put on the smile and look assured. What you don't want to do is be expressionless. What you do want to do is be cheesy. And if smiling for like two minutes looking at a judge scares you, look at their forehead or look at the environment or like look at a wall or something. It's a little less scary than I never make eye contact unless I'm like at a game and they're far away, but like 10 feet away, it just kind of makes me itchy. Like I really don't like it. So I usually look at their forehead. Going into the tryout, what you want to do is you want to pretend you're really spirited and you're really peppy and you love your school. So this is what, this is, I don't know about your school, but for mine, this is how you usually enter. Come on, school, yeah, go to school, woo, yeah. Like, you have to spirit and say like, all right, blah, let's go, blah. I don't wanna say where I live. And you do spirit, and you do this cheesy ponytail flipping, you do all that stuff. You don't wanna walk on and be like, all right, like play the music. Cause I mean, I know like consciously they're not gonna grade you at like a nine instead of a 10, or maybe they will but subconsciously it looks better to them when you look like you want to be there. So start the dance clean, smile. Yeah, so if you mess up, what I'm trying to say is improvise. <sighs> practice, 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 basically, before tryouts. Like, <sighs> like, if you feel like you're about to fail, then just stay up all night, N not stay up all night, that was being exaggerative, just like, Stay up and keep working on it to the music. What I usually do though is the music is so fast, like I'll find a slower song and keep doing it and I like to tape myself so I can see how I looked. Yeah, just remember to smile 
and don't hang around negative people when before you try out because I guarantee their negative energy is going to transfer to you and then you'll be all scared and you don't want that. So yeah, just like listen to some Skrillex and get all pumped. Oh my god, that was so weird. So listen to some like peppy music, get yourself all happy before trying out and then I promise it'll be a little less nerve wracking. So yeah. So like, mm-hmm. For stunting, our school doesn't stunt for tryouts, but just be willing to work with different people and like know your strengths. So if you know you have upper body strength, like try to be a base. If you know you have good core muscles and you can like, you're kind of like shorter, then try to be a flyer. And if you know you're tall and strong, taller-ish and strong with your arms too. Like bases are usually shorter, obviously, because the back needs to reach their feet and the bases just need to be at their feet. I mean the because the back needs to reach their like ankles and then the bases just need to be like at their feet holding them. So backs are usually taller so you just gotta be strong too. And if you're none of that, you can be a front. Well not saying fronts don't do work, they just do less work. I was a front until I like, everyone around me grew and I stopped growing. Then I became a flyer. Woo! Oh, what else is there? Cheers and chants. Oh yeah, practice those too. Write the words down and stuff. Um, what you want to do is you want to start like this, and for chants and stuff, when you're doing clapping and stuff, it looks good when you throw jumps in there and stuff like that. Yeah, that's what looks good and it wows the people. Just remember to steer it and stuff at the end, unless your judges don't like that. They'll probably tell you the week of tryouts. So, yeah. I think the dance is the thing that like scares the most people, and it's also the thing you need to work on the most out of all. Like, I mean, I know even if you're a good dancer, it just still can be challenging because of the... I mean, the pressure is good and it pumps you up, but sometimes, like, it's just a lot to learn in two days, so you really need to work on the dance, like, as opposed to the cheer, the chant, because the chant, usually it's like, Trojan, Tro let's fight, come on, team, let's win tonight. Like, that's not that hard to memorize and go through motions, but for a dance, it's like eight, eight counts, it can be really hard, actually. And I'm a dancer and I'm saying that just because you got to learn it in two days. To just throw it right at you. So what to wear to tryouts? I don't know if your school has any specific rules, but definitely wear comfortable things. Wear sneakers, definitely shorts. I mean, uh, or maybe leggings, I guess, but I find shorts to be a lot easier. A short sleeve shirt, because you're probably gonna sweat. Wear your hair up too, so your hair doesn't get all in your face, so you're not like, oh. So yeah, eat healthy. Don't, like, eat a good lunch and breakfast the day of tryouts, I guess. And if you have a friend that cheers, hit them up, go to their basement and do a bunch of stuff and learn things. So, that's all. Uh. Oh, and another tip I wanted to give you, don't be afraid of looking stupid or embarrassing yourself. Because like if you're if you think you're looking stupid, you're probably doing it right. Or if you think you're if you think you're being overly peppy, you're probably doing it right. Or if you think you're smiling too much or something like that, you're probably doing it right. So I'm just gonna leave you on that note and that's all. So sorry this video really sucked, but I mean hey, it happens, so yeah. Goodbye. Time for